Thanksgiving of Dr. Oscar and Georgie Gride and family. Romango Apartel and Suites. Thanksgiving of Dr. Mayan Graida for passing both the clinical and anatomic pathology exams. For the gift of life of December celebrants, Dr. Oscar Graida, Mary of Ileana Braille Serrano, Fortunato Sr. Philosophy. Nefreda Nuremi. Solidad, Martin, Jego, Chodoro, Eufronio, Francisca, Felisa, Fortunato, Juanita, Roman, Caridad, Andres, Asuncion, Macaria, Romano, Rosario. There is the reason to fear. Solidad, Martin, Jego, Chodoro, Eufronio, Francisca, Felisa, Fortunato, Juanita, Roman, Caridad, Andres, Asuncion, Macaria, Romano, Rosalina, Marciana, Vicente, John Michael, Eugenia, Pacifica, Federico Sr., Antonio, Gloria, Maricar, Julio, Corazon, Rolly, Arthur Richard, Rogelio, Chodoro, Eugenio, Claudio, Salvador, Enrique. And there is the reason to fear and tremble because he is our Savior. And to prepare ourselves now worthy of this celebration, let us acknowledge our sins. Let us ask the Lord to cast off the sins that we have committed and ask him to restore us to his grace by asking his mercy and forgiveness. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault, Edwin, Rolando Sr., Talma, Cipriano Sr., Maria, Raul, Austin. Into your arms, hold me tight all through the night. Guide me as we walk together. Teach me to love the way you do. Give us strength to face our fears grant us peace as we wipe away our tears always keep us by your side and never keep us out of sight St. Joseph, build me a home Made out of love and faith, not of stones With rooms for Jesus and Mary to stay For if I keep them near me, then I will never go astray Foster Father of our Lord, hear my prayers and my voice. Guide us all until the end. Saint Joseph, most humble of men. Kenneth
and protection and good health of Alexis Calanias and Carry me and to your arms Hold me tight Of Thronius 9 and Femme Bernard and Ruth Guide me as we walk together Teach me to love the way you do Meaning Santo sa Misa Ato yung appeal sa ato mga pagkakbo Of attention and attention To face our fears Let us meet as we wipe away our tears Always keep us by your side And never keep us out of sight Jesus and Joseph And faith not of stones With rooms for Jesus And Mary to stay For if I keep them near me Then I will never go Foster Father of our Lord, hear my prayers and my voice. God us all unto the end. Saint Joseph, most humble of men. Alderico Sr., Rogasiano, Joash, Teresa, Ricardo, Rosana, Felixberto, Abraham, Benita, Malu, Julius, Chavi, Bernandita, Nolly, Ronald, Edalberto, Raul, Allen, Brave Zaretan, Marites, Sahara May, Solidad, Martin, Diego, Chudoro, Eufronio, Francisca, Felisa, Fortunato, Juanita, Roman, Caridad, Andres, Asuncion, Macaria, Romano, Rosalina, Marciana, Vicente, John Michael, Eugenia, Pacifica, Federico Sr., Antonio, Gloria, Maricar, Julio, Corazon, Rolly, Arthur Richard, Rogelio, Chodoro, Eugenio, Claudio, Salvador, Enrique, Angel, Macario, Edgardo, Gina, Glenito, Rolando, Agustin, Jose, Eladia, Cecilia, Jose, Paul, James Michael, Juan Sr., Fe, Jacobo, Damian, Virginia, Armand, Edwin, Rolando Sr., Talma, Cipriano Sr., Maria, Reynante, Jerry, Regina, Illuminada, Bernardo Jr., Leticia, Las Viminda, Cesario, Conchita, Vilma, Jose, Anaclito, Filomena, Moises, Alfredo, Jaime, Manuel, Emmanuel, Florentina, Dante, Emma, Leocito, Melodia, Bartolome, 
Michel Angelo, Mars, Erica, Francisco, Vicente, Francisca, Agrippino, Lucena, Amadeo, Modesta, Teresita, Apolonio, Reinaldo, Felino, Aida, Pablita, Felipe, Seferina, Vicente, Jovita, Antonio, Bonifacio, Carmen, Feliciano Sr., Diego, Antonio, Anacleto Sr., Paz, Virginia, Edwin, Isidro, Remedios, Benjamin, Alexander Sr., Remedios, Lope, Lope Sr., Lope Jr., Erlinda, Pablo, Wencesa, Winifreda, Noli, Julius, Chavi, Bernadita, Solidad, Ronald, Martin, Sarami, Brave Zaretan, Allen, Loyden, Catalino, Modesta, Aurora, Edalberto, Raul, Mauro, Melchi, Felix Sr., Bernardo Sr., Yolojillo, Romualdo, Juanita, Aziel, Adrian, Fortunato Sr., Filomeno, Marcelo, Flaviana, Ana Marcela, Federico Sr., Marcela, Ugang tanang kalag na atong gihandong ni Santos na Misa, ugang tanang kalag sa Purgatorio. My dear brothers and sisters in Christ, good morning. In this third Sunday of Advent, also called as Gaudete Sunday, let our hearts rejoice because our salvation is at hand. The presider of this holy celebration is Reverend Father Voltaire Dumont. Please all stand. Let heaven rejoice and earth be glad, let all creation sing. The children proclaim through every land, O Son of two our King. Sound a trumpet into the night, the day of the Lord is near. Wake his people, lift your voice, proclaim it to the world. Let heaven rejoice and earth be glad, let all creation sing. Let children proclaim through every land, a son unto our King. Rise in splendor, shake off your sleep, and put on your robes of joy. And in the morning you shall see the glory of the Lord. Let heaven rejoice and earth be glad, let all creation sing, let children proclaim. Rejoice in the Lord always. Again, I say, rejoice. Indeed, the Lord is near. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Good morning, brothers and sisters in Christ. Good morning to your Father. This third Sunday of Advent is called Gaudete Sunday. The Sunday of joy, of rejoicing, of exultation, of praise and thanksgiving. This is the spirit, the true spirit of waiting for the near coming of the Lord. The coming of the Lord should not fear us should not instill fear and sadness. The coming of the Lord 
is always a moment of rejoicing and excitement because He will come and He is coming to save the world. He comes to bring the good news of salvation. He comes in order to bring justice. That is why this third Sunday of Advent, as we offer our intentions, let us ask the Lord also to give us the spirit of joy in the midst of darkness brought about by the different calamities, tragedies in our lives. To ask Him to give us a joyful hope so that as we move forward in life, let us be, we may be able to feel in our hearts that the Lord is with us. That is the spirit of the first reading. Yahweh is with His people, in the midst of His people. And there is the reason to fear and tremble because He is our Savior. And to prepare ourselves now worthy of this celebration, let us acknowledge our sins. Let us ask the Lord to cast off the sins that we have committed and ask Him to restore us to His grace by asking His mercy and forgiveness. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault, Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, our Virgin, all the angels and saints, and to you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. see how your people faithfully await the feast of the Lord's nativity. Enable us, we pray, to attain the joys of so great a salvation and to celebrate them always with solemn worship and glad rejoicing. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. A reading from the book of the prophet Zephaniah. Shout for joy, O daughter Zion. Sing joyfully, O Israel. Be glad and exult with all your heart, O daughter Jerusalem. The Lord has removed the judgment against you. He has turned away your enemies. The King of Israel, the Lord is in your midst. You have no further misfortune to fear. On that day, it shall be said to Jerusalem, Fear not, O Zion, be not discouraged. The Lord your God is in your midst, a mighty Savior. He will rejoice over you with gladness and renew you in His love. 
he will sing joyfully because of you as one sings at festivals. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. with joy and gladness for among you is the great and holy one of Israel cry out with joy and gladness for among you is the great and holy one of Israel my Savior, I am confident and unafraid. My strength and my courage is the Lord, and He has been my Savior. With joy you will draw water at the fountain of salvation. Joy and gladness, for among you is the great and holy one of Israel. Give thanks to the Lord, acclaim his name among the nations, make known his deeds, proclaim how exalted. Is his name? Cry out with joy and gladness, for among you is the great and holy one of Israel. Praise to the Lord for His glorious achievement. Let this be known throughout all the earth. Shout with exultation, O city of Zion, for great in your midst is the Holy One of Israel. Cry out with joy and gladness, for among you is the great and holy one of Israel. Cry out with joy and gladness, for among you is the great and holy one of Israel. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Philippians. Brothers and sisters, Rejoice in the Lord always. I shall say it again. Rejoice. Your kindness should be known to all. The Lord is near. Have no anxiety at all, but in everything, by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, make your request known to God. Then the peace of God that surpasses all understanding will guard your hearts and minds in Christ Jesus. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The 
Spirit of the Lord is upon me because he has anointed me to bring glad tidings to the poor. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A proclamation from the Holy Gospel according to St. Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. The crowds asked John the Baptist, What should we do? He said to them in reply, Whoever has two cloaks should share with the person who has none. And whoever has food should do likewise. Even tax collectors came to be baptized, and they said to him, Teacher, what should we do? He answered them, Stop collecting more than what is prescribed. Soldiers also asked him, And what it is that we should do? He told them, Do not practice exhortation. Do not falsely accuse anyone and be satisfied with your wages. Now the people were filled with expectation and all were asking in their hearts whether John might be the Christ. John answered them all saying, I am baptizing you with water, but one mightier than I is coming. I am not worthy to loosen the tongues of his sandals. He will baptize you with the Holy Spirit and fire. His winnowing fan in his, is in his hand to clear his threshing floor and to gather the wheat into his barn. But the chop he will burn with unquenchable fire. Exhorting them in many other ways, he preached the good news to the people. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. My dear sisters and brothers in the Lord, if I were to put into a capsule the message of this third Sunday of Advent, it is a word, joy. Kalipay. It is being said that the third Sunday of Advent is called in Latin, Gaudete Sunday. I repeat, it is being said that the third Sunday of Advent is called Gaudete Sunday, the Sunday of Rejoicing. And this, and how this particular theme being expressed in our readings for today. In our first reading from the book of the prophet Zephaniah, Zephaniah the prophet is reminding the people of Israel that they must rejoice. They must rejoice because their sins are forgiven. They must rejoice because their sentence has been lifted up. They must rejoice because their enemies has driven away. They must rejoice because the Lord is in their midst. And therefore, they must not be afraid of any misfortune in life. And this prophecy of Prophet Zephaniah in our first reading today from the Old Testament has been fulfilled in the person of Jesus Christ in the New Testament. The people of Israel is not waiting for a political Messiah, but the people of Israel is waiting for a Messiah who will free them from the bondage of sin. And Jesus Christ is the long-expected Messiah of Israel. Jesus Christ is the long-expected Messiah of Israel. 
gives them the fullness of joy. The presence of Jesus Christ gives the fullness of joy to the people of Israel. Like Prophet Zephaniah in our first reading today, St. Paul also in our second reading for today exhorts the community of Philippi to rejoice in the Lord. He repeatedly say it again, he repeatedly say, exhorts the people of Israel, the people of the community of Philippi to rejoice by saying, rejoice in the Lord. I say it again, rejoice in the Lord because the Lord is near. The Lord's coming is near. In our gospel for today, St. John is teaching the people of Israel on how to obtain, on how to attain joy in life. When the people of Israel asked John, when, after the people of Israel heard the preaching of John to prepare the way of the Lord, they asked them, he asked him, what must they do? How they will prepare the way of the Lord? And John teaching them on how to prepare the way of the Lord so that they may attain the fullness of joy in their life. John is teaching them to, to give witness to their faith in God by, by the life of generosity. John is teaching them to give witness to their faith in God by, by being fair to those people in their, to those people whom they mingle every day, every day of their lives. And we have to take note also that in our gospel to the day, Jesus, John is, for John, in humility, there is joy. In humility, we can experience the fullness of joy. When John, in humble acceptance that he is not the Messiah, John acknowledges that he is not the Messiah. He is just a forerunner of Christ, a forerunner of the Messiah who will come. John is joyfully doing the mission of God. John is joyfully doing the mission he receives from God to be the forerunner of the Messiah to, pre to prepare the way of the Lord. Sisters and brothers in the Lord, in this third Sunday of Advent, we are called to rejoice in the Lord because our Lord does not abandon His people. I repeat, in this third Sunday of Advent, we are called to rejoice in the Lord because our Lord, our God, does not abandon us, does not abandon His people. I remember my experience last year when I was preparing my, myself for ordination to the diaconate, when I learned from my mother that kaning amo ang balay nga gipuyan, gihatagan na lang ni og tagal. Kay kung dili na mo bayran ang gihatag nga tagal, papahawaon mi sa maong balay. Kay kaning subdivision nga amo ang gipuyan, 25 years to pay man siya. Og last year, wamawa nga mo ang ika-25 years sa pagpuyo sa maong balay. Tungod lagi sa kawadon, tungod sa kapubrihon, for sa nilabay nga 25 years, wala kami nagtigom ang anak kadako nga kantidad tungod kay daghan pag mga prioridad. E niabot ang ika-25 years nga gipaningil me, wala kami mahatag, wala kami mabayad sa maong balay. But thanks be to God, I was joyful, I was happy when I learned that my mother has given the opportunity to have a loan in, in the one of the cooperatives. And also, I was happy also to, to, to know that my sister also, elder sister, has, the, has given the opportunity to have a loan in her work. Wow, I was, my, heart, my heart is full of joy when I learned nga makabayad mi sa muong balay. I was happy to, I was full of joy when I learned nga wala gitugutan sa Dios nga papahawaon mi sa maong balay. And what have I learned from that experience of mine? What is my reflection from that experience? My reflection is that what I have learned from, from that experience that there is no reason for us to be sad in this world. Why? 
because our Lord is always our Lord, who is the source of joy, is always doing great things for His people that our joy might be complete. I repeat, what have I learned from that experience is that there is no reason for us to be sad because our Lord, who is the source of joy, is always doing great things for His people so that our joy may be complete and we can experience the fullness of joy in Him. And we who experience the fullness of joy are also called to share this joy towards our brothers and sisters. Sisters and brothers in the Lord, may I ask you a question? Do you rejoice in the Lord? 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 Sa panahon nga gibiyaan ka sa imong ginikanan? Do you rejoice in the Lord? Sa panahon nga nabungkag ang imong pamilya? Do you rejoice in the Lord? Sa panahon nga nagbulag ang imong mamagpapa? Do you rejoice in the Lord sa panahon nga gitraidor ka sa imong suod nga higala? Do you rejoice in the Lord sa panahon nga gibiyaan ka sa mga tao nga gisaliga nimo sa imong ang kinabuhi? Do you rejoice in the Lord sa panahon nga gipasakitan ka sa tao nga mahal nimo? Do you rejoice in the Lord? I do not know what is your answer to my question, but one thing I know is that if the source of our joy is God, then even if you experience problems in life, then you can still afford to rejoice in the Lord. If the source of your joy is God, then even if, if you encounter many trials in life, then you can still afford to rejoice in the Lord. If the source of your joy is God, then even if you experience many trials in life, many rejections in life, then you can still afford to rejoice in the Lord. If the source of your joy is God, then even if you experience many pains, many wounds in your life, then you can still afford to, to rejoice in in the Lord. Sisters and brothers in the Lord, in this third Sunday of Advent, we are called to rejoice. We are called to rejoice in the Lord because the birth of our Lord is near. Taliabot na ang Pasko. We are called to rejoice because the God is with us. Emmanuel, He is with us. He is coming near. And may we be found by God every day of our lives that we are rejoicing in love, especially to those people who are, who are not worthy of our love. May we be found by the Lord rejoicing in forgiveness, especially to those people who are not worthy of our forgiveness. May we be found by the Lord at the end of the day rejoicing in serving those people who are, especially those who are poor in the society. May we be found by the Lord rejoicing in helping those needy in the community. May we be found by the Lord in serving those in the peripheries, in the margins of the society, so that we who are found by the Lord rejoicing in doing His will, then we will be worthy, we become worthy to enter into the fullness of joy in heaven when, come, when Christ comes again in glory. Amen. Let us all stand and profess our faith. I believe in one God the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible, 
I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son, Son of God, God, of God who born of the Father before, before all ages, ages God, God from God, God light from light, light true God, God from true God, God begotten and not made, consubstantial with the Father, through him all things were made, for us men and for our salvation. He came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary, and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate, he suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day, in accordance with the Scriptures. He ascended into heaven, and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church, I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. With expectant joy in our hearts, let us present to the Father our supplications and say, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That Pope Francis, bishops, priests, deacons, and the religious may be blessed with an ever more effective voice in heralding to the world the joy of the gospel. Let us pray. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That our country may be blessed with leaders and citizens who tirelessly care for the poor, heal the wounds of the vision, and work for justice. Let us pray. Lord, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That our brothers and sisters who are sick and facing difficulties brought about by the pandemic may be blessed with healing, strength, and joy. Let us pray. Lord, hear our prayer. That all of us gathered here today be blessed with a heart that rejoices always in the Lord and a faithful spirit that always remind us to be holy. Let us pray. Lord, hear our prayer. That the souls of our beloved dead may be blessed with internal rest and happiness in the heavenly paradise of the Lord. Let us pray. Lord, hear our prayer. That our personal intentions be heard by God as we offer them in silence. And as we offer our personal intentions, we ask, our, we ask our Blessed Mother to pray for us and with us. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Almighty Father, make us a people filled with desire to make straight your paths, and with the sure hope of the coming of your Son, our Lord and Savior. Amen. Amen. Christify the gifts we bring to you. Christify the gifts we bring to you. And we of the earth receive anew. Receive and take and bless the word of our hands. Christify the gifts at your command. Sun and moon and earth and wind and rain. Flowers contain in every grain. Every grain. All the toys and dreams of humankind. All we are, we bring us bread and wine. Turn the bread and wine our hearts into. 
brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Lord, we pray, may the sacrifice of our worship be offered to you unceasingly to complete what we begun in sacred mystery and powerfully accomplish for us your saving work through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For all the oracles of the prophets foretold him. The Virgin Mother longed for him with love beyond all telling. John the Baptist sang of his coming and proclaimed his presence when he came. It is by his gift that already we rejoice at the mystery of his nativity, so that he may find us watchful in prayer and exultant in his praise. And so, with, with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we acclaim. the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, 
we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Romulo, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that in the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, and in him, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours, Almighty Father, forever and ever. the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to our apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will to live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be always with you. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Yeah. 
Behold Jesus Christ, our merciful Savior and God, the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are invited to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. that this divine sustenance may change us of our faults and prepare us for the coming feasts. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please all kneel. Prayer for the Simon. All together, we stand before you, Holy Spirit, as we gather together in your name, with you alone to guide us, Make yourself at home in our hearts. Teach us the way we must go and how we are to pursue it. We are weak and sinful. Do not let us promote disorder. 
Do not let ignorance lead us down the wrong path, nor partiality influence our actions. Let us find in you our unity so that we may journey together to eternal life and not stray from the way of truth and what is right. All of this he asked of you who are at work in every place and time in the communion of the Father and the Son forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. In behalf of Archbishop Romola G. Valias, our, our parish priest, together with the parochial vicars, we would like to extend our heartfelt gratitude to the offerers in this Holy Mass. SPC Extraordinary Ministers of the Holy Communion and Daughters of Mary Immaculate, SPC. As a sign of our gratitude, let us give them a warm round of applause. Please stand. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bow your heads and pray for God's blessing. May the Almighty and merciful God, by whose grace we have placed your faith, in the first coming of His only begotten Son, and yearn for coming again, sanctify you by the radiance of Christ's advent, and enrich you with His blessing. Amen. 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 As you run the, gray, the race of this present life, may He make us or make you firm in faith, joyful in hope, and active in charity. Amen. So that rejoicing now with devotion, as the Redeemer's coming in the flesh, you may be endowed with a rich reward of eternal life when it comes again in majesty. Amen. And may the blessing and protection of the Almighty God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit come upon you and remain with you forever and ever. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks, Thanks be, be to, to God. God. Christ, come quickly, the stranger at the door. Poverty a plenty, hearts can wild with war. There's hunger in the city and famine on the plain. Come, Lord Jesus, the light is dying, the night is crying. Come, Lord Jesus. Once the mouths are hearing in far too many lands, the sick go unattended, the pills are heavy hand. Their dreams are often empty, their cup of sorrow full. Come, Lord Jesus, the light is dying, the night keeps running. Come, Lord Jesus. The world awaits in darkness, a mighty burst of light, to set the lame one leaping, to keep the blind one sight. We await the Prince of Peace. Come, Lord Jesus, the light is dying. The night keeps crying. Come, Lord Jesus. Atong pasalamatan ang nangulo ni Ining Santos na Misa Karun, Reverend Father Voltaire de Mol, ug ang atong Naghatag sa humiliya, Rev. Ronnie B. Magallanes. Ugdaghang salamat sa itong mga mission partners, San Pedro Cathedral, Alpha Golden Associates Insurance Agency, Bernard and Rose Enriquez, Carlita Serad, Dolores and Jessica Capuyan, Dr. Maribeth Juarez, Dr. Oscar and Joji Grida and family, Romango Apartel and Suites, F. Lida and Marlo de la Cruz and family, Engineer June and Mrs. Evelyn Alegre Sardido and family, Hilda Limson, Engineer Jerry and Remyo Sol and family, Harleen De Lison, Mirna Drupan, Belia Luca, Jovi Dehan, J. Rug Marketing, Mr. and Mrs. Ronnie Usnan and family, Malco and Gloganiete and family, 
Maria Corazon de Van Lariambo Araw, Moses and Partners Management. Joseph and Noah Construction, Mr. and Mrs. Melvin Asombrado and Diana Divine Coco Lumber and Hardware, Mr. Alejandro and Mrs. Grace Adoptar and Family, Mr. Rudy and Mrs. Jean Subiaco and Family, Ms. Elena Calanias, Mr. and Mrs. Alexis Calanias and Family, One Cycle Mile Corporation, Ornel and Dr. Joe Vic Fuentes, Petitcoco and Coffeyville Apartment Homes, Villa Carmelita Resort, Jade Bookstore, Antonio Diaz, Dodo and Glocatayas and Family, Engineer Solito and Grace Mercado and Family, Mr. and Mrs. Solito Araneta and Family, Mr. Nestor and Mrs. Marivic Galgo and Family, Armenio and Jocelyn Lorenzo, Bobong and Lita Amante and Family, Juan Pablo Balansag and Family, Maha Opus and Family, Alvin Kim Lance Gonzaga and Family, Payak Family, Teresita Bahinting, Our Lady of Guadalupe Group, Ferrer Family, Crisel Maaya, Ronnie and Marlina Ludovica and Family, Antonio and Concepcion Yulo, Regina Cruz, Mr. Rolando and Mrs. Lorna Jego, Avelina Gimpaloran, Zamame Razonabe.